Yes, yes, you know, mm. say having teenagers now, and even that, oh. clo you know, teenagers yet, you can always tell, wait till the kids walk out in the morning, is yeah. this going to be a good day? Are they grumpy? Yeah. What is it? But when is it more than, oh, this is just teenage hormones? When does it go from being that to, oh gosh, maybe something is more wrong? So we yeah. brought the good doc in yeah. to help us do a little diagnosing. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's really important to know when it's not serious. Yes. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. When it is serious, you'll see really big things like um, not eating, not sleeping, feeling hopeless, um, a big uh, plunge in grades maybe. Mm -hmm. um, you know, saying things that make you think they might be suicidal. I mean, as a good parent, you should be very involved with your kids. Yes. You should be able to tell those differences and you should be able to talk to them directly. Like you should say, are you feeling suicidal? Do you want to kill yourself? What is going Gosh, on? Gosh, you're that are direct. You... You... Oh, heck yeah. Okay. Yeah, like if I'm assessing a person in, a, in my office who I think might be suicidal, I say, do you want to kill yourself? And then I figure out if they really do or if they're just depressed and we can work them through it. So yes, yes don't wow. don't use flowery words. What if it's words, not but... even like that? I mean, you're just like, you're just, you're just, you've been grumpy for like two months. Is that like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, Whoa. it depends on how you're defining grumpy. Grumpy, okay. So anytime, <laughs> <That's fair. laughs> right, yeah. it, anytime a kid goes up and down, um, but they're still, you know, doing their sport, hanging out with their friends, not using a bunch of drugs and alcohol. That's yeah. a bad sign. Right. Um, you know, if they have hope, they're planning for the future. Okay. So listen, a lot of teenagers are grumpy a lot. Yeah. And they're trying to be adults and they want us to get out of their lives and they want to make their own decisions and they're not old enough. So, and I think you probably know, and you probably know what that looks like. Yeah. It's completely different to stop bathing, to not see your friends, yeah. to not participate. Well, three mm. things come to mind with yeah. teens. Uh, one of them is which they're defiant with parents not wanting to answer questions. Yes. Number two is uh, hormones are raging, obviously, yes. both men and, and women. Yes, we both. give women a bum rap. Yeah, uh, yeah men too. Uh, but it's guys too. And the third one is we have love interests. As yes. we become teenagers, we're yes. attracted to the opposite sex. Mm -hmm. And the first cut is the deepest. Most people can oh. remember thinking you're in love the first time oh, yeah. and all oh, the oh, angst of oh, that. Oh, it's true love. This was the yes. one, your first yes. one. And maybe, I'm sorry folks, but maybe they're having sexual thoughts and all this kind of stuff. And Not my ashamed. baby. Right. Not my they're baby. They're ashamed. They don't want you to know that. So yeah. there's a whole lot going on. And I'm, I'm my poor kids, I'm just super direct. I'm like, yeah. I'm sorry y'all. Here are condoms. Here's what you do. I don't want you to do this, yeah. but, but I'm also not going to be well, a grandma. So exactly. At this age. Not at this age. Two parent homes too now. Yes. Yeah. You know, there are lots of great single parents mm -hmm. out there doing a yeah. great oh, yeah. job. Oh, yeah. It's really hard though. Yeah. Well, it's um, hard to just manage everything. Yes. Like it's just you can't. Yeah. To be a mom well, and a dad is tough. Two. Anyway. Ideally, yeah, because you need the help. Yes. Oh, right. Yeah. One uh -huh. person doing it all is really tough. But it's the tough. influence of both sexes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then yeah. you got social media that screws up everything. Listen, mm. and so that's one of the things. Let's talk about when teens are angsty and why and how it can move into something else. Yeah. There is so much stuff on social oh, media gosh. that is so distressing and depressing. Since 2020, like the world got turned upside down. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff weighing heavy on kids. They have to understand things that we wish they didn't. Yeah. You know, I chased mine around and told them about sex at the beginning of middle school so some doofus kid didn't tell them some lie Something about different. what is and what isn't. Yeah. Yeah. Right? That's a lot of pressure on a little kid. Yeah. And social media is a nightmare. It makes it worse. It People bully. You can't people get away. Target. Yes, yes. I hate it. I know. I We're going to do another it. segment specifically on social media yes. and that because it's, it's, it's a great reminder. If you have a teen that you think may have gone over from just the normal teen grumps yeah. to something else, give her office a yeah. call. North Main. Can Council. I say one yes. more thing? Even I make mistakes. My son, who is raised by me, has said to me before, Mom, I'm feeling anxious and I'm all busy and I'm not paying attention. And he said to look at me and go, Mom, I'm trying to tell you I'm feeling anxious. And I'm like, oh, oh, okay. Stop. Even yeah. though I know he's an anxious kid, he needs me to hear him and yes. I need to do something. So even I forget. Yeah. Just listen to your kids and talk to them. Just listen. Yeah. That's great Good. advice. Yeah.